guys, it is long past time for another sketchbook walk. So we've got sketch, excuse me, sketchbooks from November and December, and we're gonna take a look. Most of these are going to be stuff from reference because that's super important to do. You need to try and do that daily, and there are loads of places online where you can find reference. But we're gonna start off with my last Inktober illustration, and you guys can check out my video on um, my sketchbook walk of all of my Inktober illustrations by clicking this card here. Here's the preliminary art for the cover for 31 Days Under the Waves, A Month of Mermaids. And I'll go grab the book to show you guys how it turned out. So this is 31 Days Under the Waves. It is my compilation of Inktober mermaids. And oh look, here is, um, one of the inserts for my coloring sheets that I foiled at home, looking snazzy. So I pretty much just assembled all of my mermaids and mermen into a little mini to sell at upcoming cons. And you can find this at natosoup.com slash products. It's full of cute stuff. And I also have coloring sheets available if you like my mermaids that much. I know I do, but I'm biased. So anyway, that, this is how the finished thing turned out. So next up for all of November, I drew faces from reference from this Tumblr Humane, H-U-M-A-N-A-E. Because you can never really get too much practice. And the intention isn't to draw them perfectly. The intention is every single day, without fail, you draw three. If you miss a day, you gotta draw six. So some of them are really awful because I was traveling back and forth to Louisiana for Noka's Fest. And that sort of thing always really upsets my drawing groove a lot. But you know, better to make bad art and make art than to not do anything. I ought to go back and finish that. That was pretty cute. That's Kara with Naomi from my comic Seven Inch Kara. And that's a charm design I need to finish. and some notes from an inking panel I did for Noka's Fest. And another cute sketch. I really like how that one turned out. And the announcement for my inking panel, which didn't even get uploaded until after the panel because internet in Luling, Louisiana is super duper slow and a sketch from reference. And another charm design. Oof. Sorry, I'm having a lot of trouble catching the pages. And a little chibi of Naomi and more face design, uh, facial studies, again, from Human A. I highly recommend you guys check that out. And then we're gonna start getting into some really cool stuff because it's chapter seven planning. So that's Naomi's outfit for chapter seven. And that's Kara's main outfit for chapter seven, the default outfit. And then Kara ends up trying on a bunch of doll clothes because she's only seven inches tall. I mean, who could resist that? So um, it's her with a bunch of Barbie clothes from various time periods. So you have this really ugly, I mean, it was so ugly skipper outfit. And then this really stiff looking uh, skipper outfit from the eighties. And then the more modern Barbie clothes look really cute and fun. So I thought Kara would enjoy those. 
interspersed with some facial studies. And then the outfit Kara's mom, Meldina, wears um, for the epilogue for chapter seven, because there's like a little four page thing that happens that's not really part of chapter seven, but it's not long enough to be its own chapter. And back to those facial studies. When you're doing three every day for an entire month, you end up with about 90 facial studies. And doing three a day is very easy. Um, you really, you don't even need an hour to do it. Um, and the more you do it, the better you're gonna get. And this is for a different project. So um, I know a lot of you guys are like, well, I don't have time for that, or I only have time to draw my comic. I don't have time for other art. That is bull, guys. You're never gonna get better if you don't put the time in. And it doesn't have to be three, even one a day, 10 minutes a day, you got 10 minutes. I know you got 10 minutes. I know you're spending that 10 minutes on your phone. You got 10 minutes. Even one a day is gonna get you further than none a day. And I do different studies throughout the year, different um, poses, I do micro fashion, I do ballerinas, I do all sorts of stuff throughout the year. It's not just faces, but I tend to pick a subject and then do that for a month. And I guess I need to do like animals for a while. Oh, and here's the notes for a zine submission that I did, more notes on that. More reference studies. Here's the mock-up for commission I did. Um, studies playing with color that sort of became a theme for later in the month. I think we've hit December now because I am done with the phases. And then I got really into the idea of doing a bunch of micro fashion, which is kids fashion studies using limited use of color or spot color um, weird materials and just draw it straight to ink and just work with whatever I've got because I can get kind of too precious about things and not in a good way so I really liked how this one turned out let me zoom in even though it is just black and white um, it was Sakura Micron uh, Kurotake Fude Gokochi Fude Pen um, a Pentel pocket brush like super basic stuff like that and then this one is really cute as well. I just introduced a red Pentel pen, brush pen into the mix. And then here's some notes for some draw with me topics I wanted to do, and I will still do some of them. Some cute stuff that didn't get finished. And back to the micro fashion. So I'm doing, or I have been doing one a day, every day. Even if I don't get around to doing any other art. And then there's some expression studies, which turned out pretty cute. Those are fun to do. Another micro fashion study that I really liked. And I'm hoping I am going to produce enough of them that I can put together like a little mini portfolio of my favorites. And there is a drawing of my dear boyfriend and some kid laughing with curly hair just cause I don't really draw a lot of curly hair. And then I have a pen towel that, um, there's a lot of ink in it, but it always dry brushes. So I've been trying to utilize that more so in this one. And then there's just like a cute little elf girl. And this one turned out cute too. I forgot about that one. And I hardly used any dry brush on that one. And then we're getting to everybody's least favorite series on my channel, but I don't care. I enjoyed doing it. I thought it was important. The easy draw with me using Crayolas because it's always important to revisit your roots, but this will give you some context. So I was still doing micro fashion and I was also doing floor layouts for Naomi's house for chapter seven and panel designs for chapter seven. 
And then another easy draw with me, that was the very next day. And then two micro fashion, nope, three micro fashion sketches. And then I took what I'd learned doing those micro fashion sketches. And I did this little doodle of Kara, which is really cute. And my mother is very religious, so I did a bunch of like possible nativity scene uh, designs for charms. And then another easy draw with me tutorial. So you guys can see I'm actually getting a lot of other art done in between recording and editing and uploading those videos, which went up every single day from the 16th to the 25th. I might have even done one on the 26th, but I don't remember. Another easy draw tutorial another micro fashion, another easy draw tutorial. And this must be about when things got busy because there's another one. And then another one. And these are all just Crayola. Most of them are just drawn straight with Crayola. And more and another and another. And another, yeah, this is when I got busy that month. And then last page for that. And I've started a new sketchbook for December, January. I need to label these before I put them away. So this was done at Christmas Eve mass because we were in church for like an hour before mass even started. And um, I was getting some dirty looks from the people around me, even though I wasn't drawing during mass. And um, this little boy was trying to watch me draw, which I am 110% into. I love it when people just like honestly watch me draw. It's not um, an attention sort of thing. It's just like, I really want to make drawing more accessible for people. And if it is seen as something that normal people do as a normal part of their lives, maybe we can quit this whole BS with, oh, it's magic, but we don't need to pay artists, right? So I am totally down with this kid watching. But his mom was like, no, and turned him around. And I felt so bad for him. Like they could have asked her something, you know? I would have been like, yeah, it's totally fine. But she just assumed, and that was kind of a bummer. And the poor little dude had wigwags all during church I felt so bad for him and more micro fashion and here's a sketch for a thing and more micro fashion this time I am integrating um, like the Stabilo 0.88 to the 0.68 so really fine point ones to add spot color with very simple illustrations and here is a Copic and ink doodle of a nitwitch you know like a nitwit except you yeah, yeah and an unfinished doodle and a thumb for a thing that I might do, but I might not. And then here's um, page layouts, like thumbnails that I then redraw through because I always try to keep my thumbnails super tight. And then cute stuff because I love cute stuff that if you guys come see me at a con, you might see more of it. Um, and then more page layouts, because I had the, this montage that I'm doing in chapter seven um, that I ended up spreading out into multiple pages because the idea needed room to breathe. More page layouts, more micro fashion, more micro fashion, I know. I, I just, um, I like it because I do draw kids a lot for seven inch carrot anyway and kids were something that was really hard for me to learn how to draw accurately, so. And then Sailor Ground Meat for the Burn It Box. And then a cute little New Year's piece that I didn't ever post. More micro fashion. The layout of the dollhouse that shows up in chapter seven. Micro fashion again. I think I might actually have enough mi good micro fashion pieces. Something that is about half finished Another something that is about half finished that you'll probably see at upcoming cons. Some notes. Um, yesterday's cool down sketch, which I really didn't like. And then this morning's warm up piece, which I did like. And oh, hey, it's not micro fashion. It's just macro fashion. So yeah, 
that's my, those are my sketchbooks for November 2016 through very early January 2017. I hope it gives you guys some input or some idea of what it, what like the nitty gritty of being an artist is. It's a lot of just work and studies and comic notes and stuff that no one's ever going to see and no one's ever going to care about. Um, but it all goes into helping me improve and helping me tell a better story and helping me learn and helping me grow. Um, because when you are an artist, when you're a comic artist, when you're a convention artist, you really have to put a lot of time in the back end before you can in get reap the rewards of making money at cons and selling your books and that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the sketchbook tour. If I can remember to do it in a timely fashion, my patrons can look forward to a PDF of this because that is going to be one of the 2017 rewards is monthly uh, sketchbook PDFs. So I need to remember to do that. And I hope you guys will eagerly keep an eye on this channel for more art and art goodies and artist life stuff. I'm Becca Hilburn. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. If you learned something, if you were inspired, if it's going to push you to do something cool, do me a tremendous favor and share this video with your friends on your social networks, your Twitter, your Tumblr, your Instagram, your Facebook, your Pinterest, please, please take a moment to share it because it really helps me out a lot. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, if you'd like to see me do a specific thing as a tutorial, leave a comment and I will get to it. I love when you guys make suggestions. This is supposed to be a community and I want to do things that make you guys happy. So the more specific you can get, the better. So if you wanna see me show you guys how to draw a hipster anime girl drinking a Starbucks coffee, say that, say exactly that so I can do exactly that so we can both walk away happy. If you wanna see a cute little pug drinking water or falling into its water dish while trying to drink water, say that too. Take a chance. You don't know what I can draw. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.